welcome back to my channel my name is rachel so today is a continuation of our overboss corset so this is the sewing part so right here i'm using mikado fabric so i've transferred my patterns to my fabric so i added half inch all around it as you can see half inch this is the back pattern i have four pieces here and i have four pieces also here two for the lining and then two for the fashion fabric i'm using the same fabric for both lining and fabric which is the mikado fabric okay so i added half inch to the center back half inch to the side seam half inch up here half inch down the same thing is applicable to the center or to the front panels this is the lining part of the front panel okay i've added my wordings to it as you can see my wording didn't get to the seam allowance of the armhole this is the front part the center front and then this is the side so this is what you are going to do and here is the side front i have four pieces here two for the um, fashion fabric two for lining so you are not going to pad this very well okay so we are only padding this part that has the bustier part because this is where our kitchen is going to be and this is the wording that i used so this is the soft wording we have the soft one the medium one and the hard one so this is the soft one all right so i've padded it if you want if you want you can go and watch a video on how to pad your post i have it on my channel and this particular one as you can see this is the side the wording i used here got into the seam allowance because here i have half inch seam allowance here so you are going to cover it up but do not allow your seam allowance to get into your armhole or the neckline okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take this to my sewing machine also don't forget to notch the under bust of these front pieces okay remember to notch it this is it you may not see the notching i did here but i notched it okay so i'm going to take it to my sewing machine i'll join the whole pieces together front to front which is basically what we have so for the back we have only one panel for the back i didn't precise it but if you let's assume you have that here so you are going to join it together that is on your own but for me i left mine like this so this is the lining part can you see the way it is standing firm because of the um wording inside and this is what the wrong side looks like okay so this is the inside please don't forget to trim out your seam allowances and this is the fashion fabric okay and this is what the inside looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to do our bust caging for your bust caging you need your regling bone which is the swivel bone in okay so this bone in here is um, 0 0.25 inch okay so if you measure it in inches it is 0 0.25 inch if you measure it in mm it is about uh, 8 mm okay this is 5 6 7 7 to 8 mm okay but i like to use the inches part which which gives me the accuracy that i need so it is half a m 0 0.25 inch okay so now our caging is going to start from here from this part all the way following the under bust okay i don't know if you will see this mark but just follow what i'm doing follow my hand okay and then all the way to here so it will get into this seam allowance okay you just follow it all the way to the under bust now your caging shouldn't get into your seam allowance up here okay so when you are caging make sure that it doesn't get into the seam allowance now the number of boning you want to put here depends on you so for me i'm going to put one at this um seam line here so there's going to be one here that will go around like so and then there's going to be one around the armhole and then there's going to be one around the neckline okay and then this armhole too then i'll now add bonings at the middle okay and then i'll cross it over like so 
so the number of bone you want to encase on the inside okay totally depends on your preference all right there is no root to it so for me i'm going to do minimal um caging because this is a, a, a tutorial it's not for a client so there is tendency that nobody is going to wear it after i am done with the class so i'm going to do minimal um, caging on it now i want to explain something for us because this is a curved area okay this part is curved so if you are caging make sure that before you start you are going to drag your bony like this i don't know if you can see this but when you pull pull back you will see that the bony is the um i don't know what to call this but you see it coming out okay this is like fishing line inside the bony so you will see it coming out so that part that you know that is going to curve this way you are going to drag it out now i don't have a a plier here so i usually make use of my teeth so i'll stick out one part like this and then i'll use my teeth to drag it out so that by the time i start sewing this curved line i won't have difficulty sewing it i may not be able to film the sewing part of this bone but just know that when you get your regime bone pull it back like so drag it back so when you drag it back you see this fishing line here coming out so once it comes out take one part of it at the edge just one because when you pull one it gives you that curve effect that you want so when you pull one you you drag back when you are drag pushing this out you drag it in when you push out you drag it in so that you get that curve by the time you get to this part that is curvy you won't have difficulties with it okay so make sure that you do that i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and then i'll do the caging and come back and show us what to do next before i do the caging i i pull this um i dragged one part of it which is this okay can you see the way it is curved so by the time i get to this part that i want to sew it will be a lot easier for me i won't have to struggle with the bony okay so when you drag it this way can you see the way it is curved you are going to keep pushing it back you push this part back can you see if you are pulling it is bending so that uh, uh, curve it is giving is what will help this part to be smooth why so you won't have to struggle with it so when you do this make sure you drag it backward okay so i won't be able to do most of it here on camera but this is what it looks like can you see the way it is looking curved so even if you're making um corsets or um, cup corsets this method works perfectly well for um curved areas because it will curve it so this is what i'm going to do and then i'll show us when i'm done with the caging i am done with my caging so remember i told us that i'm going to be doing minimal post caging so i didn't add a lot of bone in here because like i said there is tendency that nobody is going to wear this after sewing it so i don't want to put a lot of boning at it on it so this is it and this is what the wrong side looks like okay so if i'd added more bonings now this part that is squeezing okay would have been stretched out because the boning will help to stretch it out on this part so if you're making your own please make sure you add bonings here add more at this upper part also add at the center too and ensure that you stretch out your your fabric while you're doing your caging so here i have my fiber here which i've already cut out so what i'm going to do now is to place it on top like so can you see and then i'm going to pin After pinning it, this is what I have. So can you see this is the wrong side and this is the right side. Okay, so what we are going to do now is to sew it down. So you are going to sew from here, okay, on this um first seam seam line. Okay, we are going to sew it here all round. So you sew it around like so. After sewing, you are going to trim out the excess fiber and then you iron 
Another thing you can do for your kitchen if you don't want to use fiber, let's say you are in a place where you can't access fiber, is to use hair stay. So you are going to cut about eight layers of hair stay and iron on it, and that will give you the same result too. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, I'll sew it around, give it a good press, and then I'll come back and show us what it looks like. And this is what I have, okay? Can you see how nice and beautiful this is looking? So when you are done ironing or even before you iron, make sure that you trim out any excesses on the fiber, okay? But if you are using your hair stay for the um, fleshing, you don't just trim out the excesses around the seam allowance, okay? And you are good to go. So this is the front part. I have added my bonus to it. So I encased bonus to these front pieces, as you can see. I have not ironed it. And this is the back. So I added one bony channels to the back um, patterns or back panels, okay? So if you're a beginner, you might need to go and watch my previous corset videos on how to encase your bony. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and join this fashion fabric to fashion fabric, lining to lining. So I'll join it. After joining, I'm going to notch here, okay? And then give it a good press, open it up and iron. So when I'm done doing that for the fashion fabric and then the lining, I'll come back and show us what to do next. After pressing it, this is what I have, okay? So I have some squeeze here. I've not really ironed it like that. So I just focused on ironing on the sides. So what I'm going to do next is to turn it right size facing each other. So it will be facing each other like this. I'm going to close the neckline. So starting from the center back, okay so you will sew from this end all the way to the top and then you sew on half an inch out around the neckline and then all the way to the hem so after doing that you are going to match the necklines turn it inside out and give it a really good press i am done and i want to make some explanations here now the first explanation i'm going to make is that if you notice this part it's looking like there is an excess fabric instead of laying flat like this okay now the reason is because i had this shrinkage at the bust cage which is the lining part and it affected this very very part okay so when you are making yours probably you encounter this kind of um excesses here just know that the issue is from the bust cage there is um shrinkage there and it's affected this area so please take note of that and then another way to correct it is by you sewing this side as if we are making a transparent corset okay so that that way you will be able to match up the fashion fabric and the lining together so when you match it up if, if the fashion fabric has an excess you can trim it out okay so that's the only way you can correct this excess that you i'm having here just in case you encounter it okay and when you iron make sure that after ironing this underboss part you bend the bone in a bit okay make sure you bend it so that this place looks defined these three bones here so and also you can add more here just to beautify it is your bone that uh, that beautifies your corset apart from the cinching effect so you can add more here so that it looks more beautiful and when you use the transparent corset uh, method of joining the side so you can also add bony to this part okay now on this center back let's say you want to make use of this very method of sewing that i used in, in terms of joining the sides turning fabric to fabric and lining to lining so what you are going to do is to sew half an inch at this center back when you sew half an inch you mark out another half an inch then you mark out another half an inch and then you sew so you are going to create a bony channel here and pass your bony. So the first half an inch is where your bony will be. And then you mark out another half an inch and top stitch down. That is where your eyelets will be. And then you mark out another half an inch and then you sew. So basically you are going to mark out 1.5 here. Okay, I hope this explanation is clear. Or you can go and use the method of eyelet bar I used in my transparent corset. So the videos are on my channel. You can go and watch it and use that method. So here, we are going to pass your plastic bonings, but this very part that has the underbust, your plastic boning is going to stop at the underbust. Now, the reason is some people don't add, but for added structure, you need to add more boning, your plastic boning here. 
okay so when you are done adding your plastic bonus you go ahead and pipe the down part i'm not going to pipe it remember i told us that nobody's going to wear this i only did it for the purpose of this tutorial okay so but if it was for a client of course i'm going to close the the hem so i'll place it on the mannequin or dress form for us to see what it looks like and this is what the inside looks like okay so this is what it looks like can you see so please when you make yours it should be neater than this i will i i, I was rushing to make this video so i'll place it on the dress form for us to see what it looks like okay so this is the final look of this dress as you can see this is what it looks like on the dress form okay even that side that i can talked about that has an excess it's not even obvious but just for a neater presentation so that your work will be neat when you take pictures while it is not on the dress form so that's why you need to make sure that that area is corrected okay so this is the final look like i said i didn't pipe the hem because nobody is going to wear it and the back i didn't lace it too can you see i didn't put eyelet so if this video has been helpful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe like share and thank you for stopping by on my channel see you in my next one bye